عصف الأنين بداخلي كم مرة قد ذاق قلبي من أسى محرمتها وكم كرهت مصابها لكن رأيت الخير يسكب في أنا كم مرة قد ضقت من for the context, here Ibn Qayyim is saying there's a group of scholars that said that the Torah has never been corrupted. You know yeah. who he mentions? Let me tell the people because the Muslims are going to know who these are. He mentions Imam al-Bukhari. Al-Bukhari, the collector of the Hadith of Bukhari, he's one of those that Ibn Qayyim says believe that none of the books of Allah can be corrupted. The Torah and the Gospel have never been corrupted. Right. And then he quotes Abu Dawood, this hadith. What does it say, if you can read it? A group of Jewish people invited the messenger to, uh, of Allah to the house. When they came, they asked him, Oh, Abu Qasim, one of our men committed adultery with a woman. What is your judgment against him? So they placed a pillow and asked the messenger of Allah to sit on it. The messenger of Allah proceeded to say, Bring me the Torah. When they brought it, he removed the pillow from underneath him and placed the Torah on it and said, I believe in you and the one who revealed you. And then he said, Bring me one of you who have the most knowledge. So they brought him a young man who told him the story of the stoning. And then now notice what it says right after that. What did they say? The scholar said, if the Torah was corrupted, he would not have placed it on the pillow and he would not have said, I believe in you and the one who revealed you. Scholars, plural, who accepted this narration as authentic and as proof that the Torah is not corrupt. Why is he lying? As you can see on screen, this is the book that he was referring to, Iratatul Lahfan, and this is written by Ibn, uh, Ibn Qayyim al Jawziya. As you can see on screen, Ibn Qayyim mentions, أَقْوَالُ النَّاسِ فِي التَّوْرَاتِ الَّتِي بِأَيْدِيمْ حَلْ هِيَ مُبَدِّلًا أَمِ التَّبْدِيلُ وَتَحْرِيفُ وَكَعَ فِي تَأْوِيلِ دُونَ تَنْزِيلِ عَلَى ثَلَاثَ أَقْوَالٍ طَرْفَيْنْ وَوَسَطٍ That the people differ uh, from amongst the people regarding Torah which they have in their hands. It, had it been changed? Or had it been changed uh, and, and, and corrupted in terms of the ta'wil of interpretation other than the tanzil, apart from meaning the ayat. And this is uh, three different uh, positions. And he mentions the three different positions which Sam mentioned. And then he also mentioned this is the view uh, of Muhammad uh, or Abi Abdullah Muhammad bin Ismail al Bukhari who said in his hadith collection, etc., etc. And then he carries on with Razi and whatnot. Uh, so just so, to confirm, when we look at this particular statement from Ibn Qayyim al Jawziyah, it goes into it in much, much detail. But what I want to do is show you that when Ibn Qayyim al Jawziyah mentions Muhammad bin Ismail al Bukhari, uh, Sam doesn't know that Muhammad bin Ismail al Bukhari collected the statement of Ibn Abbas, right? And placed it in his uh, collection. You know, this is the view of Muhammad bin Ismail Bukhari. No, it's not, you jail. You should, have even, you should have checked it. You don't know what you're talking about, mate. So let's go into it because I want to make this brief because this, this jail doesn't know what he's talking about. So as you can see on screen, we've got Fatul Bari by Ibn Hajar al Asqala. As you can see, we've got Kitab al uh, from Sahil Bukhari, uh, Bab number 55. And then it mentions, Walaysa uh, Ahadun Yazilu, Lavda, Kitabin, Min Kutubi La Azza wa Jal, Walakin Nahum, Yuharifunahu, Yuharifunahu, Yeta Awalunahu. And غَيْرِ تَأْوِيلِهِ Okay, so this is what has been uh, presented by Ibn Abbas uh, from Imam Al-Bukhari. So if you go to Fathul uh, Bari by Ibn Hajar, Al-Asqalani, he clearly mentions, and this is now Ibn Hajar saying, لَمْ أَرَى هَذَا مَوْصُولًا مِنْ كَلَامٍ Ibn Abbas مِنْ وَجْحٍ ثَابِتٍ That Ibn Hajar says that I haven't found a sort of continued Mosul chain uh, uh, from the authority of Ibn Abbas. Okay. Uh, that despite the fact that what he said before it is from his words and those that were after it. So meaning the ones that were before it, uh, which mentions, and I'll go into it, it mentions uh, Ibn Abbas, that is written, the, the, the good and the, and the bad, يحرفونه, and then the ones after, um, uh, you know, and Ibn Abbas is commenting on it. I don't want to go into it. As you can see with the arrows over, it mentions قال شيخنا ابن الملقى في شرحه هذا الذي قاله أحد القولين في تفسير هذه الآيات وهو مختاره أي البخاري وقد صرح كثير من أصحابنا بأن اليهود والنصارى بدلوا التوراة والإنجيل. Uh, it mentioned that Ibn al Mulaq al Shafi'i, okay, mentioned in his Sharh, and this is um, what he has said in terms of. The, one of the two uh, quotes in the tafsir of hadith ayat which Bukhari chose okay and it mentions that it is clear from our companions or many of our companions explicitly that the Yehud and the Nasara have 
change the Torah and the Injil. It's clear that Sam doesn't have no knowledge about the Islamic sciences and we have proven from this video, it's been lengthy, I understand so much evidences that he has no clue, he's straw manning and once again the Torah and the Injil have been corrupted. I have no doubt in my mind that this video will clear so many doubts that he presented. It was lengthy, alhamdulillah, but it's important that this video is lengthy so that these debate tactics is sophistry. What I mentioned at the start of my video about debating is now a competition. It's not so much about manifesting the truth or making the truth clear. It's sophistry, debate tactics. And really and truly, what does anyone learn from a three hour debate? I don't, I'm not a fan of it, but this is what people like, don't they? And now he's just basically presenting a whole heap of information. Now that this has been debunked, I'm sure uh, the Muslims that do debate, just make sure that you go through the shurra, you go through the uh, the muhaddithun's explanation of the ahadith and the mufassirun, so you've got a better grasp on how to tackle these uh, doubts. So take care of yourselves. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. لا بد يوما آتية كل الخلائق حاضرة كل السرائر بادية في موقف ما أعظم لم تخف منهم خافية والهول فيهم قد بدا الشمس منهم دانية في موقف ما أعظم لم تخف منهم خافية والهول فيهم قد بدا الشمس منهم دانية